And guys, quickly before we do hop into this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring this Rocket League video. This website gives flexibility to every single platform. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do massive deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout and get yourself a 3% off your orders. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning either this Hextide Mystery Decal on my car right now or the brand new Intrudium that came out of the recent crate? Then all you've got to do is follow these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on so you guys do not miss an upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on the video and third of all, comment your details down below but as well as that, tell me which BMD you would prefer. And I wish every single one of you the best of luck, the winner will be announced at 40,000 subscribers. So guys, as you can see on screen right now, look at the price we're getting for this painted Octane and insane overpay and I'm going to be telling you guys a little secret that I've got to get in some insane overpays. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel once again. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always and today I'm going to bring you episode 8 of the brand new series going from one single key all the way up to the titanium white hex side. So from the previous episodes you guys would have seen that I've already picked up some painted oxins for some insane underpays. So if you've missed any sort of episodes, I'd highly recommend you go check them out first. I'm going to leave a link to the previous episode down in the description and if you want to see from episode 1, go on my channel, go on to episode 1 and make your way back to here. And guys, today's episode is an absolute banger as I make so much profit and I tell Tell you guys so many different methods for how you can make the profit that I do and if you do want to see another episode out on Tuesday we are going to have to smash 950 likes that's the biggest goal yet but if you guys smash that like goal I'll definitely bring it out on Tuesday and most importantly if you guys are new to the channel or if you haven't already make sure you have dropped a sub and turn on notifications so you do not miss a brand new Rocket League video on the channel and with all of that out of the way let's get straight into the very first trade I hope you guys do enjoy okay so to kick things off today and the very first tip of the whole video which is what you want to do is get rid of every single crate that is sat around in your inventory because most of the time to be honest no one's really going to be opening crates like let's be honest the rocket pass 3 is coming out in literally two weeks tomorrow so it's going to be pretty insane when that comes out all the key demands going to eventually go back up so that's going to mean that crates are going to be completely doomed who's going to be opening crates when the new rocket pass is out like everyone's just going to be grinding and that's what i mean like get rid of every single one there's not going to be a double drop weight uh for literally ages so what you want to do just sell every single crate in your inventory if you've got pccs Try and sell them 10 to 1, but if you can't, maybe go 12 to 1. Uh, but yeah, just get rid of every single crate that you have. So in the previous trade, I didn't really explain what I was doing and what I was buying, which is the Dystro. And I'm not going to lie, the Dystro obviously has dropped a lot in demand. Who really cares? It's just a casual car. It looks the same as the others. Like, realistically, the same thing happens with every DLC as well. When the McLaren came out, everyone's like, oh my god, this is a brand new main. Give it two weeks and everyone's like, right, back to the Octane. So that's pretty much why the, the painted Octanes are going to keep rising, because realistically everyone wants to use octane most people obviously use the octane some use the dom some use breakout but let's be honest it's mostly octane dominated so i just wanted to get rid of this die stroke as soon as i could and as soon as i got off of that one key i was like okay fair enough i might as well take that get myself a tune eventually and then we get into one of the most expensive trades and profitable trades of the whole of the episode and that is me selling the gray octane to i don't even know most of the time the people that are wanting to buy gray octanes are obviously scammers which is incredibly sad that people are trying to buy grey octanes, obviously to switch out white to grey. So yeah, I'm not too sure if this guy's a scammer, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to like expose him or anything. But I, I have no idea, so I'm not going to say if he is or not. I've never seen his game attack before, but he just offered a 20xx, which is obviously around 9 to 10 keys. I was like, uh, could you add a little bit maybe? And he chucked in another key, so that is a guaranteed at least 10 keys, probably 11 though eventually when I get 10 keys for the 20xx. So yeah, don't mind doing that trade at all, making a ton of profit. So shortly after that, I was having a very hard time. You can literally see my inventory in just a sec, but look at what I've got left. I've literally got one painted octane. I've got the 20xx that I just bought. I've got the fire god, loads of keys, and the solar flare. And the one thing that's extremely hard to sell there, obviously the fire god isn't the easiest at the moment. But the solar flare has just dropped so much. I, pe I literally see people wanting two keys for it now, which is just mind-blowing to me. Because I did a series going from nothing to the white one the white solar flare and just to see the regular is selling for around two keys is pretty scary to be honest so don't get me wrong non crate very rares aren't really that high in demand because oh, everyone's just saving up keys but i don't mind taking this trade as well getting myself at least two to three keys right there for the solar flare so then straight after doing that trade i was like right i need to get rid of these non crate very rares because i literally see the biggest offers at the moment the people are offering obviously one key for two and i'm not gonna lie it's actually really heartbreaking because back in the day people were literally paying a key for one and that was obviously when i was going for the trigon 
which was the main mystery decal back in the day. And non-crate very rare were so good back then, but they've sort of died just because there's been obviously new crate coming out recently. Uh, there's going to be rocket pass tiers coming soon, so no one really wants to buy them. Everyone's all about keys, so I'm pretty much doing the same. I'm like, right, I might as well get rid of these, get myself some keys. So I don't mind selling them. I'm doing, obviously, five for three. That's sort of like an average ratio, so I don't mind taking that trade. But then once again, I find myself in a situation where I'm buying another Octane, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. Octanes are going to be the way forward, because they're not going to drop. I literally cannot see colored, like, painted Octanes dropping at all in price obviously don't get me wrong the white one has dropped a load but that's just for the fact key demands incredibly high but i don't even see like i literally see people still offering three to four keys for burnt sienna obviously with the key demand going really low at the moment and then very high it's been up and down but it's still stuck around that price so i do not mind paying six keys for a pink octane because i know eventually in the future i'll definitely get myself at least seven but most probably eight so i don't make so i don't literally don't even mind taking that trade at all because i know in the long run it's going to be a lot of profit so obviously if the rocket pass three coming out very soon there's a lot of people just quick selling their items for keys and i'm not gonna lie obviously i want to keep my keys but like at the same time i want to make profit because it's enough into something at the end of the day if the more trades i do because i know my prices the more profit i'm going to be making so i thought why not just go on the lfg see what people want and this guy wanted three keys for his hex and that's something i can suggest obviously if you've got thousands of keys it's worth saving and then literally selling all of them when the demand is really high because then you could just buy them back and make a ton of profit but for the fact I'm on enough in something, I haven't got that much in my inventory. I just thought, why not buy the hex? Because eventually I'll get, I'll literally get myself four keys eventually. So don't mind taking that trade at all. And the exact same thing happened once again. This guy had a tour and he wanted three keys, so I just chucked an offer of two keys. He said add, I said NTY, and every single time, if you want to buy a tour, either for your car or to profit, do not, I repeat, do not pay over two keys. Because if you do that, you're going to be literally feeding them profit because you can get yourself more than two keys eventually, but at the same time, you don't really want to be paying what you're selling for because then it, you're literally just wasting time that you could be making profit on. So with every single Sora, normally I offer around two keys, but it just varies really. Like, I want to stack up on a few BMDs, obviously. So I don't mind getting a Torah because eventually I'll probably get myself either a Sub-Zero, Hellfire or something, and probably try and snipe myself a Black Market Gold Explosion. So then with me buy obviously buying these BMDs for a decent price and sniping them in a way, I thought why not flip the switch a little bit and try and get myself a decent amount of keys for either my Fire God or my 20XX. And eventually I found a guy that wanted to do 12 keys. And I'm not going to lie, if this was a month ago, I would have said LOL, NCY straight away. Because it was worth like 17, 18 keys. But the fact that Fire God, obviously it's a very old mystery decal. There's going to be brand new Rocket Pass items coming out soon. It sort of died a little bit. And obviously Heat Wave is a little bit less vibrant. But I feel like Heat Wave eventually is going to take over Fire God. But it's, it'll obviously be in the future. It's not happening anytime soon. But yeah, I don't mind taking this trade at all. Getting myself 12 more keys to add up. And then we get on to the main tip that I say every single time when I make these videos. Which is what you want to do at the end of your post. Or if you've got one key in your inventory, listen up right now. Because it's going to make you the most insane profit. And I've literally seen it all over the LFG. Literally when I refresh, there's like five people every time just saying this one thing. So what you want to do if you've got one key. You want to put up a post and you have one key. And you want any black market in the game. It can literally be a tune. It can be a solar flare, sub-zero, Tora, anything like that. Because I guarantee every single time you're going to make profit. Most of the time, even with tunes as well, you're definitely going to get yourself at least 1.5 or 1 key in ads. So yeah, literally put up that post. And when I see it as well, it actually be, it's jokes every time I do see it. But yeah, I guarantee that'll make you profit. And then once again, I got a bit ahead of myself. And I was like, okay, why not buy another painted octane? I saw this guy selling his orange one. He wanted six keys, but obviously I'm not going to pay six keys for orange. I paid six for pink. So I was like, okay, I can offer you four keys. Yes or no, he said NTY5, I was like NTY, and then eventually after a little bit of trading, he came back to me and he said, yo, alright, I'll do it for four. So, happy days, like honestly, I'm just going to sit with the Octanes, because I feel like they'll go back up in price. Obviously, Sky Blue sort of drops a little bit, Crimson drops a little bit, but they're gonna eventually going to they're eventually gonna go back up in price. So yeah, it's going to be decent when they actually do, but with this Rocket Pass coming up, it's going to be a bit of a risk. But I don't mind taking the risk because most of the time it pays off, especially with Octanes, because it's the most popular car in the game. And then not after long at all, I eventually found a guy that wanted to buy the tune. And with no surprise at all, he was like, okay, I'll do one and a half keys. So he wanted to add a little bit. I was like, I think I'll pass because the BMD demand for the low BMDs, especially Tor as well, there's been people paying around 2.5 to 3. So 
I thought, okay, I'll just sit with it. Obviously, black markets are going to increase in value, especially with all these people putting up the posts. So, yeah, I don't mind doing this trade at all and getting myself two keys eventually. Obviously, it did take a decent amount of time because Toon isn't the easiest to sell for two keys. But, yeah, don't mind doing that trade at all, making myself a one key profit. So, that is the final trade for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed and happy Sunday as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And if you do want to see another episode on Tuesday, like I said, 950 likes in the very first 24 hours. And I'll definitely make that happen. If you are new, make sure you have dropped a sub and turn on notifications so you do not miss a brand new Rocket League video. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed.